the second of two MCLA championship finals. This one, the D1 competition, a Rocky Mountain showdown between the Colorado State University Rams and the University of Colorado Buffaloes. Ken, the Colorado State University Rams under Coach Alex Smith have never lost to the Colorado Buffaloes. It's obviously a huge advantage. Three, four minutes at a time. You're gonna have to generate offense, otherwise the ball's going back the other direction. We saw right there, the timer goes on, and all of a sudden Colorado kind of forces a couple shots, the turnover's created. Now Rams have their chance to maybe, hopefully, get on the board first. Jack Curry cleared the ball for Colorado State, carried it into the zone. The Rams will set the offense. That's Smith, he's got a wide open shot and buries it. One and nothing Rams, five minutes and eight seconds to go, first quarter. There's that shape of the zone we're talking about right there. The middle got wide open that time. Smith finds a nice little crease in there. Great feed inside and a nice finish. Rams up early, one nothing. We can see here again, look at the inside position right here. No one slides out to that wing, and that just gives an easy shot right there for Smith. You can't give him that kind of time and space. Smith with his third goal of the tournament. Casey Carter gets on the board with the assist. He will start a new streak now. Will, not Casey Carter, but Austin Fisher from behind the cage. Rams little, win that face off. Yeah, a little bit what we'll be talking about with that zone. If they don't get into that 1 3 2 position, that's that wing spot that they've got. upset when it's their player getting knocked out. But as long as their players are doing the hitting, that's what the game is about. It's always been about that. How many concussions have you had? Um, totaled them all up probably about eight, eight to nine concussions probably. Probably close to 15 to 20 times. I don't think I've ever had one. I've had, I have, I've had, a, I've had a few. Yeah, I had, I had several of them. I done had at least one dinger. I done had more, but I done had at least one dinger every game. From what they didn't tell us when we were coming in, probably 20 plus, easily. Nobody knew exactly what a concussion was. You thought a concussion was when you would sleep out on the field or when somebody see your arm gets tight after getting knocked out. A concussion can be as soon as you see stars or if you have a quick loss of memory after you, you take a shot to the head. A lot of times we call it ding. But, you know, uh, in the doctor's world, what we're learning now, it's a concussion. So if you think about a concussion, uh, it's a, a violent shaking of the brain inside the cranial cavity. When that happens, uh, you can have multiple parts of the brain that, that might be impacted. And therefore, you have neurons. We have billions of neurons within the brain. And it uh, depends on which ones are, are stretched that dictates the symptoms. But the, the hallmark symptoms are, are usually a headache. And the Sea Dogs shot 41% with 14 of 31 from in the arc and 2 of 8 outside the arc. Get ready to continue 735 to go here in the third quarter. The Reading Railers lead the Wilmington Sea Dogs 55 49. Reading inbounds it, comes up the right side. Herman on the ball for the Sea Dogs. Looks to pass it to the right side. Back up top to the top. There's a three shot, and it is no good. Rebound, C Dogs gets it to Herman, pushes it up the right side. Herman crosses the timeline, kicks it over to Harper. Harper down the left side. McGinnis in the post, looks to get it to him. Flashes up, faces the basket. One dribble to the middle. Layup is good. Cedric McGinnis. Running inbounds it. Up the right side. Looks to get it back to the middle. Drive down the right side, reverse layup, no good. Rebound, Alvin Jefferson for the Sea Dogs. Gets it to Harper, brings it up the left side, looks to get it to Ward in the left corner. Ward drives, pull up jumper is good. 6.42 left to go here in the third quarter. Sea Dogs cut it to two. Railers bring it up, drive is, shot is up, and an offensive rebound for a dunk. Number 55. Sea Dogs up the right side, get it to McGinnis. Herman cuts down the middle, shot is up and good. Assist to Cedric McGinnis, basket. 
Number seven. Well, here we are in Hampstead, North Carolina, Castle Bay Country Club, old Scottish Link style golf course. I can talk to a couple people inside, maybe loosen up a little bit. The driving range is that way, but I'm headed towards the bar. Well, a good feature of any bar, we got a couple of local patrons discuss, discussing the, the hazards and the double bogeys of the day. We got Tiger Woods discussing his mistresses on the television, and we got an ice cold brewski here. I actually I set the course record in, in uh, 2001, uh, the highest the highest score ever. Ladies love the long ball. We certainly gave it to them. A little knockdown sandwich here into the green. Believe me, it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> oh, that's still going close. <laughs> Weekend Hackers, that's me. A oh, hell of a day. Castle Bay Country Club in Hampstead. Under 40 bucks, 18 holes of golf, a couple of cheap brews, maybe a date. For all you weekend hackers out there, I would recommend checking this place out. Great value. But we're off to uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where the sands are white and the strippers are bottomless.